there, welcome back to A Wish No One Remembers, where I don't remember what the, these two were talking about. I sit back like a 300 pound man whose knees are about to snap. Phil Hazard, green eyes gripping at my heart, an overly playful smile blasted on her face. Now, I know. Damn it. Wait, 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 I... <laughs> she chuckles a bit, making a red tint in her cheek. Even more. Considering with the rest of her white, delicate-looking skin. Is it as pale as mine? <laughs> That's the real question. <laughs> Holy hell, I wish I was kidding. I'm already pale as hell! Make an albino look like he has, like they have color. Like, that's how pale I am! Damn, she's cute. And rather fine looking, too. Uh, whatever, do as you please. I feel... What am I doing? Man, I get a grip on myself. You've been sulking this whole time. Please don't be a burden for those around you. She clearly pushes herself in order to uplift your spirits. Yo. Where's all the ones you want to have around, man? I don't care if it's a girlfriend, your wife, wh whoever. Or your freaking significant other. I don't care. Those are the people you want to keep around you, man. At your lowest lows, you want to have them around you. <laughs> I don't care who you are. As long as you have those people around you, you'll always be happy. As long as you're willing to help them out, too. <laughs> and suddenly, the lights turn off. Well, I'm still uh, lost in thought. TV and the computer monitors are still are the same. Uh, some of the electricity apparent appliances are the only things emitting light in the whole room, which makes the entirety of the surroundings quite dim indeed. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> It happens a lot, uh, quite a bit on this channel. Hey, do you want to see something new? What? What could it be? I guess. I have even more of a bad sense about this. I must now be prepared for the mighty edit. Please do not show nudity, because you YouTube higher-ups will obviously be really, really mad at me. <laughs> I'm still sulking. Damn it. Stop being a kid for once. Yo! At least act nervous. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, please. Then close your eyes. And look towards the television in front of you. Don't open them until I say so. And this is where I get insanely concerned. <laughs> Cause freaking hangover cat. Yo, don't do what I think you're gonna do. Don't do it. I'm saying this now because I'll have to freaking cut it out. <laughs> Otherwise. I do as she says. Even with this ominous persistent creeping in the back of my mind. I am extremely concerned. <laughs> I do not like where this is going. <laughs> is she going to jump scare me? It would fit 
your persona perfectly. He seems the kind of girl who starts watching horror movies in, Ju in July in order to prepare for Halloween in October. You seem to tell me, Hangover Cat. Don't tell me shit of what you're gonna do, and I do not like what this is going! <laughs> Knowing them, they'll be really freaking clever about this! God dang it! I start seeing colorful forms from behind my eyelids that serve as contrast for the upcoming spectacular. I feel a bit nervous since there are no sounds complementing the vision, which is somewhat odd, but because of the obscene of any kind of distraction, I'm able to consider concentrate on my surroundings. The noise of ruffling bedsheets. And surrounding contrast of the more surrounding underneath, bringing underneath, and the sensation of her presence next to me, and visualize them in my mind. I remember the drowning, drawing I've up, 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 that word is abstracted. In the depths of my consciousness, I can almost see it. A thin figure crossing the bed. A wave of her hair dancing on, him, on her back. The heat warm, heat, the heart warming eyes cast on me. And the slight movement of her pale lips as they are about to say. You can open your eyes now. Okay, I feel it's a little bit better. God, so many random colors. I open my eyes slowly, wondering still what could possibly be worth this kind of setup. I've seen a lot of videos on the internet, so it would take quite a lot to surprise me. Fireworks? <laughs> don't make me don't go with what I'm thinking here, ma Hangover Cat. I have bad feelings of what you're thinking. Beautiful, peaceful looking, yet still not uh, that impressive. I mean, there's a big difference between looking at them on a computer screen and actually experiencing them in real life. Can't hide my disappointment. Not bad. I've never seen any. Okay, time to bring out the fire at a makeshift explosive. <laughs> no, I can get in trouble that way. What? That's impossible. They're all cut. They're all at. All at. Are at. All kinds of festivals. I'm not. Thinking about these, the bug. Ah, and what are you? I turn to her, and at the exact moment, clever motherfucker! <laughs> Completely opposite of what I was thinking. Thank God. <laughs> the lips meet. I stops my whole world. Right, right in front of me, my eyes. My breath is literally taken away by both thought presence uh, on my lips and the sheer power with which they were captured my heart. Must have expected Earth's atmosphere because it still hasn't landed from its tremendous leap yet. My only 
chance is that she's a clever motherfucker. <laughs> Both our scenery and our bodies are dry in those transcendent light colors. Mitz by the fake fireworks. On the other side of the screen, the sight alone is out of this world so much that from now on I wish I could only see those fireworks. I'd be honest, she's freaking clever so far. I was expecting something entirely different. <laughs> Holy hell! Can't control myself. I tremble from the core of my being. Goosebumps crawl all over me. In that slut sing single instant. She's my everything. I live only for another second. Where we can share this fish to kiss together. Well played, Hangover Cat! You keep on finding ways to catch me off guard, damn it! Good hell. <laughs> I'm suffocating. The taste of her lips. Uh, her body is a fragrance. Even the air surrounding us is just truly is awe inspiring. Lovely. This is probably one of those moments I will remember for the rest of my life. Why? Making sure I would not forget this sensation. Her lips. Within the lips, I put my hand on her shoulder and push away delicately. Ah, damn it! <laughs> Our regular breath. Breaths are the only thing that can be heard in the entire apartment. And though it sounds and feels clumsy, it's also very enchanting. Such a degree that I need to keep myself from leaning towards her again. Be glad that you do not have my sense of freaking humor! <laughs> That definitely catch me off guard. <laughs> Holy hell. Sorry, but this isn't right. No. No. Clever. Well played. <laughs> but it, I still think I got a good moment in return. In return. In return. What? <laughs> Clever motherfucker. I can see why. I loved you. Stop saying well played. There's no other way to freaking place it. <laughs> Index finger touches the tip of my nose as she says so. Her movements is so unexpected that I can't help myself, but... <laughs> uh... There's literally no other place for me to freaking end this episode outside of here. <laughs> what the hell? There's no other way for me to end the episode outside of here, man. Not only does Hangover Cat pull another one over me, but... Well played. Freaking well freaking played, Hangover Cat. There is nothing else I can say. <laughs> I know none of you, but who cares? Well played for the third time in a row. Third series. Fucking hell. <laughs> That's all that I hope on you guys. Have a great moment, huh? It's a great day too. So, a big I think that.